welcome to your learners welcome back to my channel this is Ibrahim uh, again I represent you a new lesson it's a very important lesson for you uh, it is the confusing rule of passage narration and we face some difficult problems difficult rules uh, and always we feel uh, we face some confusions some confusion can be removed by this content uh, it is helpful for academic or job seeker so let's get started before going to my class I have an honest request to you, if you are newcomer to my channel, uh, please uh, do subscribe my channel and hit the bell button to get new no notification of my next content. So let's start. Narrations. We know uh, two types of narrations in English grammar uh, sometimes we have to convert direct narration to indirect narrations and we have to sometimes we have to convert in indirect to direct narrations however some sentences uh, we face some problems first problems when assertive sentence general or general sentence takes interrogative sign we know assertive sentence take full stop or general sentence take full stop but when uh, assertive or general sentence take question mark then how uh, do we complete this sentence how do we uh, change in indirect narration so uh, when we face these situations we have to uh, we have to change this sentence into interrogative answer and first we have to include being surprised here uh, here is example Razia said to me uh, you remember how she looked ago here Razia is a speaker and me listener there the sentence is assertive uh, structure or physically the sentence is assertive but uh, it takes interrogation sign so for this we have to use being surprised first of a sentence then the sentence uh, turns in indirect uh, turns interrogative style Rajya speaker and said to me we said to change into asked then me included comma and inverted comma are delete then replace if and then you actually me me actually in subjective form so I then remembered remembered how how she she and looked uh, had looked ago change into before so when we face this type of sentence we have to uh, change direct to indirect inter indirect sentence in nature of interrogative okay then second rule confusion on optative sentence we know optative sentence is a type of sentence that expresses the expectation prayer or wishes but sometimes it's uh, sometimes we feel confusion with this optative sentence here he said may I come in sir actually the sentence what does the sentence mean it means request or ask for permissions uh, in two ways we can use this sentence uh, here he requested to come in uh, if we take it take the sentence as request it will be correct then if we take the sentences this way he asked whether he allowed to come this sentence uh, will be correct it is interrogative style then the first sentence it is uh, imperative style finally if we think it is actually uh, optative sentence that well then we can be this way he wished that he might come in okay these three sentences will be correct so um, then another rule don't and never sometimes don't and never the sentence that we start with don't or never uh, we can use this sentence as advice or forbid so 
the example is don't run in the sun said mother uh, actually the sentence mean not to do not to run in sun here mother advise we can take the sentence as advice because here don't use it's indicated the advice mother advise not to run in the sun if you take do not or never uh, as advice then uh, you foot not before linking words to do not will be not to never will be uh, never to okay then the, if you uh, want to change this way mother for we to run in the sun when you use for we the word for we you sh need not use not or never so remember it when you do not and never use as advice that not or never show in the sentence but when you take for it you need not include not or never then the uh, very important rule that you know i think you see you know in general cases general sentences uh, in our practical life uh, we speak we talk different things if these three or many more things that are as usually used that has no meaning then it can be um, omit or delete i think he can do this actually i think it has no meaning here it's my intention my expectations i suppose i think i believe he can do this actually the main sentence is he can do this so we can omit i think and the changes is mahi said that uh, he could do this we avoid i think the part we do not use because it is used in general sense then very important rule rule 5 sometimes uh, we know when we use sir uh, it change into respectfully or other words but in some cases in our practical life we use the word sir in different cases but it actually not indicated the teacher or tutor then we can avoid sir uh, would you please show me the product sir say the customer customer uh, asks or wanted to know the shopkeeper to show him the product so here the customer respected requested sorry requested customer requested to show the product here we do not use respectfully uh, in these cases because the customer uh, wanted to uh, say it say the sir general sense so we do not use respectfully here if you want to add respectfully it do not any problem it will be also it also be correct sentence so the last sentence so the last rule um, that's very important sometimes we face problem with let let me let us uh, in it has uh, two rules Tony said let me do it here uh, Tony proposed to do something do it it is correct sentence then uh, if we want to change it in another ways Tony proposed that they should do it it also correct uh, the sentence that they start with let it can be expressed by two or it can be expressed by that and subject then should or might should be taken in this sentence both are correct uh, hope to see you my next content uh, till then Allah Hafiz thank you so much for watching my channel